Hello. Well, uh, as promised, I shall um, talk about something else that isn't just Friday the 13th. Um, however, I will say before uh, I begin this uh, video, um, something apparently happened to my Friday the 13th video, the latest one. Um, I don't know what happened because when all of a sudden done I had it you know uh, on my it was on my computer I was able to review it look at it all was fine but when it was on YouTube all of a sudden sort of the frame rate and stuff was sort of out of it was out of sync and therefore the audio was also out of sync it would like just freeze in my face for whatever reason I don't know what happened uh, Possibly it was on uh, it was on YouTube's end. Um, however, also there was a thunderstorm going on that day. Um, though I don't know if uh, that really had anything to do with it, because I've uploaded videos during thunderstorms before and things were fine. So don't know what to happen. So um, just wanted to get that out of the way. Before I begin uh, this video, uh, so yeah, um, because of the upcoming uh, Halloween film, I thought it was appropriate to talk about Halloween. You know the the original film, uh, which is this is the 35th anniversary, but the, the film will be 40 years old. Um, This year it's 40. Um, and what to really say about Halloween? Um, in short, the film is about uh, Michael Myers, who as a kid killed his sister. Uh, parents saw him as he walked out of the house with a knife in there with blood on it and took his mask off. And uh, years later, as an adult, he broke out of the mental institution he was in and goes to wreak havoc on the town of Haddonfield. Um, and uh, as he does so, um, you know, he stalks Laurie Strode and her friends and uh, the whole time his psychiatrist, Dr. Loomis, is uh, looking, is helping the police try and find him and stop him. Dr. Loomis even gets a gun because, uh, you know, he says Michael Myers is just evil. He worked with him for many years, you know, and uh, when he saw his eyes, all that was behind there was just pure evil. And, um, he just basically then just did what he could to have uh, have him stay in that institution. Like, he was just not fit to leave. And, um, yeah. There you go. Uh, he kills a bunch of people. Michael Myers does. Jamie Lee Curtis is the sole survivor of those he's trying to kill. Well, he's Laurie Strode also... babysitting so there you go and um i think everybody knows uh halloween inspired a whole lot of films friday the 13th is uh, i think the best example of this especially since victor miller has gone on record saying sean cunningham told him halloween's making a lot of money let's rip it off and so he basically took the formula of halloween but then put it into uh into a camp, you know, a summer camp where counselors are killed off by an unknown killer who, at the end, you know who it is. You find out who it is. And, um, it was a real whodunit. Nobody knew at the time until the very end. Though, between the original Friday the 13th and, uh, Halloween, I believe Halloween, in terms of first films, is the better film. I think this is a better film than... Friday the 13th. 
However, I believe Friday the 13th is the superior franchise than Halloween. It's my favorite franchise, horror franchise. Yeah, I should specify. However, I believe if you've watched this channel and you've seen a bunch of my videos regarding this, I think it's fairly obvious that's my favorite. I've talked about the franchise as a whole and all that, but I never really talked about Halloween, and I kind of wanted to for some time, but um, now with the new film just coming out um, next week, I think it's a good time to talk about that. And um, again, I, I know I didn't really say much, I just sort of summarize, summarize the plot. Because everybody has essentially, if we've seen the has seen the film, has seen the fran has seen the franchise. Everybody has actually said the same thing. It's a phenomenal film. It's a classic. This and that. While the Friday the Thirteenth films, the sequels improve the original film. Where the sequels, you know, there might be some sequels that are good, but then others not so much. And really, it's like the only one that's truly fantastic and phenomenal is the original. And apparently, from what I've heard from critics and people who have seen it at festivals and stuff, this new Halloween is incredible. It's amazing. And uh, it's a worthy successor to this film. So, And also, that in the new canon... This next movie is the only sequel to this. All the other sequels don't exist. Which is sort of interesting. John Carpenter actually said the only reason he wrote and produced a sequel to this film was because the studio was going to no matter what. So he thought, if they're going to, I might as well write it. Because, you know, he's like, he didn't like, trust them to do a good sequel. Or a sequel that would do justice to the film. So, yeah. There's various versions of this film. I just pulled this out. I don't have the Screen Factory uh, set of the series, but I would like to get that one day. Um, <sighs> but a lot of the sequels are just very odd. And sort of odd in the sense is like it's like where what happened here it's like we got got this whole lore thing now with this and with this whole cult stuff and later films and there's h2o which a lot of people enjoyed i thought it was a good film um the you know i'm really just trying to focus on this movie because the new movie i when i do see it, i will talk about it so I don't know if I'll see it the very day it comes out, but I'm going to try and watch it at some point, um, be it that weekend, or maybe the following weekend, but, yeah, this film really is a revolutionary horror movie, you know. You can compare various films to it, though most of them will most likely be franchise films, however, uh, you could compare this also to Black Christmas because, well, Black Christmas inspired this movie. John Carpenter loved that film, and so he uh, used that as a template for uh, Halloween. I enjoy Black Christmas. That's a great film. Uh, it didn't have a franchise. It didn't have a bunch of sequels, even though it could have had one. Um, sort of like this movie. You know, this movie had an open ending. Spoiler to anybody who didn't know that, also. But I think at, at this point, everybody knows the film. People have seen it, or if they haven't seen it, they probably know so much about it that it's like they've done everything but see the movie. And if you haven't seen this film, why not? I mean, it's a good movie. Um, it's entertaining. Though if you don't like horror, I can understand you wouldn't care. You wouldn't even want to bother with this movie, you know, or franchise or any of the horror stuff I've talked about. Um, uh, Donald Pleasance is fantastic as, um, you know, Dr. Loomis. Um, Jamie Lee Curtis, this is her first movie. She was amazing. Uh, the people in this movie, you know, P.J. Souls, Nancy Loomis, you know, 
dude who was Michael Myers played the shape. Yo, oh, what is his name? Is it even in here? Come on. You gotta have the dude's name in here. Yeah, uh, Nick Castle. I don't even need to find it. Nick Castle. And he's in this new movie, so that's kind of cool. That's pretty cool that uh, Nick Castle is returning as Michael Myers. Sorry, I blanked on his name. I don't know why. Uh, it's not even a hard name to like, pronounce or anything. That would be understandable, but yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, that's... I'm trying to condense these videos and be very more digestible and not... 20 and 30 minutes long, so, um, it's just over 10 minutes. Maybe you found this of use, maybe you didn't, maybe you thought this was pointless. But, you know, that's just my thoughts on Halloween. I think it's a good film, well-directed, well-acted, um, set a standard for horror films to come. Friday the 13th is the biggest one, however, then Friday the 13th also set a standard for horror films of a formula to follow. You know, that was a huge thing. It's like one inspires another movie, and then that inspires a bunch of other movies, and then, yeah, all these inspirations, and then this was inspired by Black Christmas, and so many inspirations, really. It's just, it's, when you look at all the, <laughs> oh, what Halloween has inspired, and also look what uh, inspired Halloween, you know, it's just quite interesting to look at. So, yeah, uh, it's really uh, all I have to say. John Carpenter's a great filmmaker, and he made a great film. Had a lot of great talent behind this movie, and uh, they they all did their jobs. They uh, went above and beyond, and uh, while the s later sequels may not have been fantastic or great or even on par with this movie... Uh, this film will always be incredible. The remakes, well, the remake was okay, I thought. It didn't really, it wasn't fantastic or anything, but, eh, it was okay. Um, my sequel to that was it really good. But, uh, from everything I've seen and heard of this sequel called Halloween, though it should really be Halloween 2, even though it might be confusing to some, I mean, this is the sequel to, uh, this is the, apparently the true sequel to uh, this movie, so, you know, this one right here, so, if anything, this should be Halloween, and then this one, Halloween 2, but, I don't know, because it could just come at Halloween, seems like it's a, another remake of this film, and it isn't. And when they decided to call a sequel the exact same title as the original, even though it's not a remake, it just is fairly confusing. But, and doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but whatever. People are excited. People hope for the best with this new movie, and I do too. And when I see it, I will talk about it. And I hope to like it. So, uh, that's really all I have to say. This is a fantastic movie. The franchise, either it's your favorite or you have some f movies in the series that are you think are good but not as good as this. And yeah, I don't know. I'm just kind of rambling on and talking about the exact same stuff now. So I'm going to stop now, but uh, I hope you all have a good week. Hope you all have a good day. Just good stuff all around um if you love this movie hope you watch it at some point this month it is halloween time so yeah but until next time just uh have a good day good week and all that and have a yeah just do everything you normally do i don't know i'm just rambling on i apologize so, so until next time see you later Bye.